Semperfy, everyone. I'm your host, United States Marine Corps veteran and living historian, Charlie Lynch. On today's episode, with a special thanks to the U.S. Naval Institute, I will honor Robert Eugene Bush, who at the age of 18 was the youngest member of the United States Navy in World War II to receive the nation's highest military decoration for valor, the Medal of Honor. Robert Bush was born in Tacoma, Washington to Carl and Estelle Bush. His father worked as a sawmill logger and his mother was employed as a nurse. After his parents divorced when he was four, Bush was raised by his mother in Raymond, Washington, where he worked in a sawmill with some friends before dropping out of school in 1943. Bush joined the U.S. Naval Reserve at age 17 on 5 January 1944 as an apprentice seaman, Class B-6, at Navy Recruiting Station Seattle, Washington. After completing recruit training at the Farragut Naval Training Station in Idaho, he was sent to and graduated from the Naval Hospital Corps schools in Farragut. Bush was assigned to the Naval Hospital Seattle before completing further training at the Field Medical Service School, Fleet Marine Force Training Center, Camp Pendleton, California. During training, he was advanced to seaman second class, then to hospital apprentice second class. On 1 March, Bush was temporarily advanced to hospital apprentice first class. On 10 February 1945, Bush was assigned to Headquarters Company, 2nd Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division. Afterward, he was assigned to G Company during the invasion of Okinawa, which began on 1 April. On 2 May, Bush was wounded in action by shrapnel from three enemy hand grenades while attending to his wounded platoon commander and at that time firing the lieutenant's rifle to protect the lieutenant, himself, and the rest of the platoon during an enemy attack. Bush was honorably discharged on 26 July 1945. He then finished high school and married Wanda Spooner of South Bend, Washington, whom they were the parents of three sons and a daughter. Bush was presented the Medal of Honor by President Harry Truman on 5 October 1945 for his heroic actions on Okinawa during a ceremony on the South Lawn at the White House. He later studied business administration at the University of Washington and Bush founded the Bayview Lumber Company at South Bend in 1951 and Bayview Ready Mix at Elma, Washington, building both into multi-million dollar businesses. Former NBC News anchor Tom Brokaw wrote a chapter about Bush in his 1998 published book, The Greatest Generation. As well as his business affairs, Bush was active in veterans' causes and served as president of the Congressional Medal of Honor Society from 1971 to 1973. Bush passed away at the age of 79 on 8 November 2005 in Olympia, Washington. His wife preceded him in 1999 and a son, Larry, passed in 1986. At the time of his death, Bush was survived by three children, eight grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. He was buried in Fern Hill Cemetery, Menlo, Washington. Bush's Medal of Honor citation reads as follow. The President of the United States, in the name of Congress, takes pleasure in presenting the Medal of Honor to Hospital Apprentice First Class Robert Eugene Bush, United States Navy Reserve, for service as set forth in the following. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty while serving as medical corpsman with a rifle company in action against enemy Japanese forces on Okinawa, 2 May 1945. Fearlessly braving the fury of artillery, mortar, and machine gun fire from strongly entrenched hostile positions, Bush constantly and unhesitantly moved from one casualty to another to attend the wounded falling under the enemy's murderous barrages. As the attack passed over Ridgetop, Bush was advancing to administer blood plasma to a Marine officer lying wounded on the skyline when the Japanese launched a savage counterattack. In this perilously exposed position, he resolutely maintained the flow of life-giving plasma. With a bottle held high in one hand, Bush drew his pistol with the other hand and fired into the enemy's ranks until his ammunition was expended. Quickly seizing a discarded carbine, he trained his fire on the Japanese charging point-blank over the hill, accounting for six of the enemy despite his own serious wounds and the loss of one eye suffered during his desperate battle in defense of the helpless man. With the hostile force finally eroded, he calmly disregarded his own critical condition to complete his mission, valiantly refusing medical treatment for himself until his officer patient had been evacuated and collapsing only after attempting to walk to the battle aid station. 
His daring initiative, great personal valor, and heroic spirit of self-sacrifice in service of others reflect great credit upon Bush and enhance the finest traditions of the U.S. Naval Service. Signed, Harry S. Truman. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and perhaps you've learned something new. Stay tuned for more episodes as I continue to explore the hallowed history, tradition, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. Please feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and leave a comment in the section below. I always enjoy interacting with you folks and seeing the growth of this channel. Also, don't forget to tell a friend or family member, and until next time, Semper Fi, and carry on.